Yeah, thank you. Um, so um, I will talk uh, about uh, this uh, uh, package, uh, which I call the, the bureaucrat, which basically it's a package that uh, is intended to uh, make it uh, easy and transparent uh, to uh, accommodate uh, all the files and data uh, uh, in a directory structure without uh, having to worry uh, about uh, this problem. So basically, um, so I was saying it stores uh, uh, the files uh, automatically and easily, and also uh, provides a way to check uh, if something, uh, some task uh, that uh, I'm going to show you later on what this means exactly, but uh, was carried uh, on successfully or not. Um, so uh, the way it aims to do this is to make you forget uh, about this problem and uh, just think uh, in tasks and runs. So uh, if you are uh, running this in the uh, in the binder, uh, you need to install a few things. I will just uh, skip it. Uh, I will just import some stuff. And uh, during this presentation, I will uh, play with this toy system, which is just a black box with two inputs and one output. Um, I have uh, here uh, a function that measures, we, we can imagine that this is something that we have in the lab, for example, and uh, we want to measure it. Uh, so it has two inputs, current and voltage or whatever uh, you want to set, and we get a number. So, um, let's see uh, how it uh, how it works so the first thing we do is uh, we create um, a run bureaucrat object we just give it a path to some uh, some place in in our computer um, and the last part of this path is going to be the run so here uh, for example i have uh, this run name uh, i create uh, uh, this uh, bureaucrat object, uh, which is uh, passed uh, to somewhere in my computer, uh, appended with this run name. Um, and then uh, I just gave him uh, uh, a proper name. So then uh, we, uh, we can just uh, create this run. So when I run this line, uh, if you can see uh, here in the right side of uh, the screen, uh, this is um, the, the folder where I, I, I am going to create uh, all, all this data. And we see that there is uh, a new folder created, which is the, the run that we has just created. And we know it is a run because it has this file uh, automatically created inside. Of it. So uh, then what can we do with this? We can perform a task inside this run. So for this, uh, we uh, tell uh, Sean, which is the bureaucrat handling this run, uh, to handle the task uh, with this name, we can put whatever name we want here. Uh, to, I call uh, this this guy here one of Sean's employees. So then, if we run this uh, inside this with statement, uh, we just uh, measure the black box uh, many times and just uh, store the data. But we see that now we have a new folder here uh, with the. Uh, the name of the task that we have uh, created in this run. And uh, we have also the, the data, uh, this file here, the data that we have just measured from the black box. And so we see that when, when we want to save a file, we don't put, uh, we don't hard code the path to uh, our run or our task. We just ask to these uh, two bureaucrats here, either Sean or Sean employee, uh, we ask the path to somewhere, and then we ask, we just tell uh, the name of the, the file. Um, so uh, now that we have uh, this task that measured the black box, we can uh, uh, perform uh, another task, which is uh, plot this, uh, this data. And this, we see inside the run, it creates a new task, uh, which, we know this is a task because it has this task uh, file with some uh, information and we have the plot uh, with the data that we have just measured. So, uh, so far this seems a bit useless or a bit uh, of, uh, of a waste, but uh, 
Uh, so suppose that, for example, uh, there is an error when we are measuring the data. Uh, this is happening in the lab automatically during several days, and there is an error in the middle. Uh, so this cell here is a copy paste of the previous one that uh, performs this measurement task. But now there is a, a I have added this error here. So if I run this, of course, we get an error. But now if we want, uh, again, uh, we go here and want to plot this data, um, it won't work because uh, even if, if the data is here, uh, this file here created by the bureaucrat is uh, telling uh, this uh, new other bureaucrat that uh, there is an error in this task, so uh, it won't uh, pass uh, inadvertently. So uh, let's just clear this. So let's see uh, how this can be uh, can get a bit more interesting. So here I just I am just defining two functions. Uh, this function measure with constant a and b. It's just doing the same task that I had in the previous cell, but now it's inside a function, and we see that this function it just receives a, a bureaucrat pointing to one of these runs. And it receives the uh, parameters uh, to do some stuff. This uh, any parameters you want. So then, um, in this uh, in this uh, uh, function here, I have another one. Uh, sorry, one second. So there is uh, another function that. Uh, it just measures but sweeping A, and the only thing it does is to call this other function, and it uh, it, it it does some some things with bureaucrats here. Uh, the, the details uh, maybe uh, it's better to look uh, uh, offline. But uh, basically, with these two functions, now I can just uh, create a new run here, um, and when I run it. We see that automatically uh, it is creating the, the top uh, level uh, run, let's say, which is my run, which is this one here. But then inside there is a task, which is the task by this function, measure sweeping A, um, which in turn has uh, sub runs. And each of these sub runs is measured uh, with a sim uh, single value of constant A and B uh, that is defined in this function. And we have uh, all the data uh, stored uh, properly there. So then if we want, uh, for example, to read the data and plot and do some analysis, it is uh, again very easy because we can just proceed uh, in the same way uh, using these bureaucrats objects. Um, so here I am just defining a few functions to read the data uh, from, from the, the, the lowest level, let's say, uh, from here and another function to collect the data uh, at this level and a function to plot. So then I can just execute this and we see that there is a new task here in this uh, top level run, let's say, uh, which has the plot with uh, all our data. And if you see here, we, we, we didn't have to uh, worry in any way, um, in any moment uh, about uh, creating this this uh, structure, it, it's all uh, automatically encoded in these uh, bureaucrats, which just uh, put uh, the path to the right task uh, and the name of the file that we want to store. So then, uh, this can grow uh, even more uh, because, um, for example, now we can sweep not only A but also B. But we can reuse the functions that we had before because they all receive this bureaucrat object. So uh, each function just called uh, the next function and so on. So I just write these three functions, three extra functions, and I write uh, run a very uh, similar code in the top level. And now we have um, all the all the measurements uh, with constant values. Uh, of, of our parameters uh, automatically done. Um, we can also do a plot, for example, in the same way as before. And uh, here we have uh, the, the files. So uh, to conclude, uh, let me show you just uh, a few uh, extra features. So for example, um, 
sometimes in some operating systems uh, there are characters that are better to avoid and, uh, and so so for example for example if you use uh, a name with some of these uh, weird characters let's say uh, the bureaucrats will uh, raise a warning it will work as you see here but uh, it will tell you that it's better to avoid it also creates automatic uh, uh, backups of your uh, scripts inside the uh, tasks um, uh, so at this moment it's not working with the Jupyter notebooks but if you write this in normal python files uh, you will see a backup of your file uh, inside each task and also uh, it automatically deletes uh, all data so if you run a task uh, again that it was run before it will uh, remove all the old data and keep only the new data um, so i am a bit uh, uh, extra on the time but uh, basically so with this this package uh, it allows to very easily uh, forget about creating this structure and writing your code only caring about runs and tasks that you perform and this uh, will uh, be automatically done so uh thanks uh that's it thanks very much Matthias. so i thanks very much i i see if there's any questions on on slido uh, i see there is one question that's probably from the previous talk right Seems like a follow-up. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure because I also have with statements, but okay. Yeah. Different uh, what, what, one, well, one of his question from from here is: uh, Are you work using this thing for your particular your personal work? Yeah, yeah. I have been using it uh, for uh, uh, more than a year, I think, by now. Uh, but uh, yes. Uh, I, I work uh, a lot with uh, uh, do uh, characterization of um, of uh, radiation detectors. Uh, so then I have to measure some detectors uh, in a beta scan, for example, and then uh, start sweeping different parameters and collect all these measurements. And uh, it's really really handy uh, for this. Okay, so that's within that that kind of work that you have done this course. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. H have you tried to to have other people to to use it? How I mean to, to get a better feeling and also feedback? No, 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 no. Uh, so far, uh, it's a it's a personal tool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a question comparing with Snake Make. I don't know that one. Uh, sorry, so I cannot tell you. And the other question is also. It sounds similar. Okay. Yeah, I have to check it. Uh, maybe maybe uh, it's the same idea, but honestly, I don't know it. I think it's separate. Snake, snake mate is, is to is to run work workflows, and of course, if you if you then ch change things, you can you can still rerun the whole thing. Well, we run only what has changed and the rest. Uh, but you, you you define the sequence of things that you want to run. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you have some uh, piece of work in a the CI, that's something that you would like to set up with snake make tells exactly in an analysis, analysis, do step one, two, three, pick up Monte Carlo from step four and combine in some way and move it in, set, in section step five and stuff like that, right? So I think- Yeah, it's a, okay. A bit different. Okay. Uh, thank you, thanks again, by all means, uh, discuss that 